All right, welcome back to the wild world of Icarus. And today we've got some pretty fun plans. Well, first off, I think we're gonna do some missions um, at some point. And then the other thing that I really wanna do is to kind of make this place my home. Obviously, uh, if you've been following this, you'll know up here is kind of my workshop area. I've got a million different workbenches up here and uh, there's gonna be more at some point. But down here is pretty empty. And I would love to make this kind of just more cozy, a little bit more like home. And uh, I guess to do that, we're gonna need a few things. And first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to unlock the carved wood furniture, I believe. I hope, I only have a couple points to spend here. Uh, let's see, what did that unlock in here for us? Okay, so quite a few things. We've got some chairs, we've got some cabinets, um, a whole wooden bed and even a desk lamp. I don't know if we can make that. I'd have to make some electronics first. Yeah, quite a few things that we're able to unlock here. Uh, looks like we really just need a bunch of copper nails and probably some fur too. So let's get down here. How many do we have? We have about 150 right now. Let's get a few more crafting. All right, we're gonna get a ton of copper nails there. All right, what can we now craft? So we've got wooden table, cabinet. Um, I don't know, should we probably just make our bedroom first? Or at least an area for our bedroom? I think we do that. So let me go grab some fur here. Do we have any? We do, we've got some right here. And then we'll get our bed crafted. And of course, we're gonna need a dresser and a nightstand that I don't have enough for. Let's make a bunch of refined wood. Okay, so we'll let all that craft. Um, but one thing I also wanted to do is we're going to go back out to our greenhouse because I have a ton of crop plots now. And uh, I think we can fill out that greenhouse a little bit better. And I did upgrade both the floor and the ceiling to stone just because I wanted to protect things a little bit better while I craft up enough supplies in order to make like a proper roof. And apparently I'm able to make some kind of like reinforced glass or something like that. But I need to hook up water to my glass making station. But I don't have that yet. I did unlock the stuff to do that. But I got to figure out the power and the water system and all of that before I'm able to even start providing water to that glass making machine. Uh, but for now, let's start putting down some of these plots. Okay, they're kind of goofy right now. Uh, once I craft more, we can kind of make a little bit better of a design. Um, but for right now, what do we got going on here? We do have avocado, but it doesn't look like it's growing for some reason. There it goes. I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of buggy sometimes. But I'm gonna start, yeah, so I had strawberry in there too, and that wasn't growing. But anyway, now we're able to throw in a bunch of different seeds into all these different plots. And we're really going to be sitting pretty well on the amount of food that we have. Now, I don't know if it they eventually start to die if I let them sit in here for too long without going to pick them. But I guess we'll probably find out because the odds of me forgetting that they're in here are pretty good. All right, everything's got seeds right now, so I just need to water it. And I should probably get some fertilizer, too. Actually, I'm not going to mess with the fertilizer right now because I, I, I'm probably going to be so busy that they're going to grow on their own. And um, I'm, I'm not in any rush to actually get them completely fully grown yet. But once this whole place is filled out and it's just a ton of different plants everywhere, I think it's going to look so cool. Now for the rest of these, we're just going to have to throw all the seeds and stuff into the uh, fridges here. And then one more thing that I actually did do is I unlocked and crafted some new rugs. Now, I don't, we're, we're gonna have to put them somewhere cool. I, I do wanna move this little fireplace. I just don't know where right now. But for the time being, I say we throw a little wolf rug. Oh, that is a very little wolf rug. Hold on. How about this deer rug? Is this better? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we can throw that right there. 
Okay. That doesn't look too bad. And you know what? I'm just gonna sleep for the night. It's just too dark to be able to do anything. Alright, let's check this out. So, we've got our carved wood bed. We've got our dresser. Let's get an end table in there. And let's do a wardrobe. Alright, now I gotta figure out where I wanna put my bedroom. I was thinking kind of in this corner, but I, I it doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of room unless I expand out further, which I might have to do. All right, so I'm just crafting up a couple more stone walls because we're going to have to wall off our bedroom. And now that I think about it, I don't know if I want to do stone walls for that. Maybe I should just do the interior wood walls. Yeah, let's do that instead. I'm going to make... How many do I need? I've got... To do one, two, three, four. And we can have a little two by two bedroom. At least for now, we can always expand it a little bit later. Let's go with that. Let's see how it looks. I mean, I'm trying to put a lot of furniture in there, so I don't know if all that furniture is going to take up all the space in there, but we'll find out here in a second. All right, let's give this a shot here. Oh, no. The stone stairs kind of phase through it. Well, let's let's just keep going here. There it is. So we've got our nice little bed here with a nice little nightstand and a candle on top of it. And we've got our wardrobe here too. They, they don't really have much storage. They're, they're just for aesthetics. And then I did put down this little wolf rug. And right outside the door, we've got this little woven rug, which, yeah, you know, not bad. I kind of like the look of all this, but what I do want to do is upgrade or at least change these stairs because I don't like how the stone sticks out through the wall here. So that's kind of annoying, but let's see here. Can we actually craft some stairs? Did I unlock that, the refined stairs? Okay, I just crafted one, so let's see how this looks here. Oh, that is so clean. That looks way better than the stone, at least with the, the, the theme that I'm going for right now. And it doesn't stick through the wall, so that looks good. So, wait, hold on, let me turn this candle off. It doesn't need to be going. Okay, well, now that we got our little room created, we're going to do a little bit more in the future. But right now, I kind of want to break things up and go and do a mission. And hopefully a mission that works, because we have not had great luck recently. Oh, and one thing I did do as well is I upgraded my arrows. Not a whole lot. I went from bone arrows down to, or up to flint arrows. And the flint arrows are kind of expensive because they all take iron ore in order to craft. But either way, let's check this out here. We got some simple farming. That's a medium mission. Grow some crops to deliver to the UDA. I mean, that seems pretty easy. Or we've got lost. Locate an abandoned base and search it for the UDA. Uh, let's go with that. That one seems like it's going to be a little bit more action. I think I know where I'm going already. Okay, so we at least have to go to that pod. Um, that's going to contain the portable beacon. So before I actually go and do that, let's drink some beer and drink some wine. Oh, I just realized I forgot to put my dresser down. Oh, we'll do that when we get back. And one more thing we're going to do when we get back is make another deer rug. In order to craft the deer rugs or just any of the rugs, you need the, uh, the heads of the animal that you're doing. In order to get that, you need that taxidermy knife, which is what I crafted. It was pretty much just a little bit of ironing it. All right, here it is. Let's get that beacon out of there. Let's get back. I don't need to get burned by the fire here. All right, let's check this out. Where? Oh, okay. I guess we just need to go right next to our base in order to find the prospector base. That's simple enough. And this is supposed to be a hard mission, so I don't know what's going to be hard about it. I'm wondering if we have to fight off an, another horde of animals. In the past, we had to fight off a horde of little tiny teddy bears, and I felt pretty bad doing it. But hopefully that's not the case this time around. But whatever it is, I do feel like I'm prepared for it because we do have our upgraded bow. We've got our upgraded arrows, and we even have our bolt action rifle. Uh, which reminds me, I do want to eventually upgrade to the hunting rifle. But we've got a little bit of work to do before we can do that. Okay, I believe it's just up over this rock here. Our base is literally just right over here. 
So it is right next to us. Oh, here it is. All right. What do we got to do here? Um, face has 27 pieces remaining. Okay, I just have to repair it. Yeah, I'm willing to bet we're going to have to fight off some kind of horde of animals here soon. Or something on here. Oh, they're bear cubs again. No. Oh, man. And they're coming from the water, so it's just like they're just sitting ducks out there. Okay. Well, let's keep pairing this and try and make it as fast as possible so I don't have to kill that many little cubs. Okay, we repaired as much as we needed to, so let's put down the beacon. Please, no, little buddy. <laughs> All right. All right, we got a pod coming down. That was it. That was the hard mission. I don't understand the difficulty ratings on these missions, as they, they don't seem to make any sense, but uh, whatever. We can get some iron crates, cupboards, or some food that we don't have, like Kamara? I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Uh, and some rhubarb. I mean, we did just put down a greenhouse. So I think we go with that. So let's take all that. Let's get the heck away from this. And let's enjoy the view. Wow. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, little buddy. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have attacked me. All right. Well, that was unbelievably easy. So let's skip back to the base here. And, oh, hold on. I hear a bear somewhere over. Oh, there he is. Here, let's see if I can get him from here. Nope. Oh, and one shot. Over 1,100 damage on that. All right. So, that's completely finished. Let's go back over here, and now I want to make another wolf rug, as well as another deer rug. Now, I'm wondering if at some point I can unlock the ability to make some kind of polar bear rug. I think that would be super cool. But right now, we kind of got the smaller, easier animals, but I'm guessing there's some kind of upgrade that we can do, or we can make in order to do that. Okay, so now it's got a little bit more character, but I would like to put down some interior floors in here. That way, I think the rugs will stand out a little bit more than they do right now. And again, it's going to kind of separate the rest of the base from our room. So let's craft up these four floors. All right, we've got four wooden floors, so let's replace these here. And bam, there we go. Now, let's wait a second and see how that looks. Okay, not bad. It kind of looks like these rugs are floating, and I'm wondering if that's because the stone was a little bit higher. No, they just kind of look like they're floating, like there's a shadow underneath it. Am I going crazy? Either way, I think this room's coming together pretty nice. We've got the dresser, the end table, the wardrobe, and um, eventually I would love to get some electricity running and put some lighting up in here and everything. But we got a little ways for that. It's gonna take some time. But in the meantime, I say the next step is to make a little bit of a living space. Now, before I, I kept saying that I wanted to move this fireplace, but I'm kind of tempted to keep it. Well, actually, no. Because what I want to do is I want to extend the chimney that goes up and I want it to go all the way to the top of the building. But right now, as it sits, the fireplace is right below our kitchen. So that's going to be a problem. So yeah, we're going to have to move it. Maybe I'll move it uh, maybe over to the corner. I don't know. I don't know.
Now, one thing that I totally forgot about is that I also crafted the rustic decoration bench at one point, which means I have a whole other set of items that we can craft, like a couch, some more nightstands, some rustic armchair, all these different things, a bench. Oh my goodness, why was I doing the other ones? The other ones are boring compared to this. We want a rustic bed, we want rustic everything. Oh, it's dark, hold on. <laughs> a storm's passing through right now, but we should be okay. Majority of our base is now made out of stone. I don't think lightning is going to be a problem, but I was working on this down here. I, I kind of uh, divided this area, and then I'll probably end up putting a couple walls here. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's one thing that actually takes damage from storms, though, is this glass. And my understanding is the reinforced glass is going to be a lot better than this. But we'll come and fix this a little bit later. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it right now. Um, but yeah, I want to have kind of some furniture surrounding the fireplace here. And can we can we turn this on here and then see if it goes all the way out to the top of the chimney? Because I added a chimney, I guess, extension right here. And then I put it all the way to the top. And yes, smoke actually comes all the way out through the top. So that's pretty cool. I might put a taller one up there just so I can actually see the smoke and stuff from a little bit further away. I don't know why. I just think it'd be uh, I think it'd be pretty cool. What does it look like from out here? Yeah, you can't even see it from over here. So I might put a taller one on there a little bit later. All right, so I've crafted a few more things. We got the coffee table, which... Oh, no. I was hoping I could just put it right on top of the deer rug. I think that would have looked really nice. So I guess let me pick this up. Or not, because it's <laughs> my inventory's full. Let's put this here. And then we've got a couch. Um, let's put this... Let's just try it right there. And there we go. We got a nice little cozy area. Maybe, maybe we wanted a smaller little stand than this. In between the two chairs, or the chair and the couch. But this isn't too bad. I might spread this out a little bit more. Something like that. All right. There we go. We got a nice little setup. It's all coming together. I really wish I could have put that rug down, the, the deer rug, underneath this table. Maybe we eventually get rid of the coffee table and put the rug down. I don't know. But right now, it, I think it looks pretty good. We got the couch. We got the coffee table. And we got some candles burning on the little end table. And then I found that I could craft this little Icarus statue. I'm not 100% certain what's going on. It's it's clearly a, an Icarus, I guess, explorer. I don't know what you would call us. Um, falling or... Uh, I don't know. And it looks like we've got some kind of wings or something. But it's the only one that I could make. Um, and then I did put these double doors on. Um, but yeah, it was the only statue that we could make out of this rustic bench. Because the rest of them require these condensed enzymes, which I do not have. I think I need some kind of piece of machinery and then we need to find one of those like geysers that come out of the ground and that will allow us to I think extract some enzymes. I, I think. I'm not even 100% certain on that. But you know, it's not too bad right now. We've got our little bedroom which I actually might switch out a lot of this furniture for the rustic stuff because this seems a little bit too nice for me. I like the rustic look and um, I think we could make a little bit more cozy if we switch to the rustic stuff. Oh, and then it gets really cozy when I shut off my my torch and I just have the glow of the fire. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I don't think I can... Oh, I can sit. Oh, look at me. Just enjoying my fire and relaxing. And look at this. I even have some beer. I mean, you can't really see me drinking the beer, but I drank the beer and I enjoyed it by the fire. And uh, that's all that matters. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the fire out for the night, and then I say we actually go to bed. Let me turn my little torch on first, and um, we'll start a mission in the morning. Oh wait, we need a campfire nearby. Well, I guess for the time being, we'll light up our fireplace and then just sleep out on the floor tonight. But tomorrow we'll have some kind of fireplace to to put safely in our room. Uh, there should be something that we can put down that's not a fire hazard to the rest of the furniture in here. Um, but for now, let's put this out. I need to offload some things and then we'll go start a mission. Oh, and you know what? I totally forgot I was going to upgrade the floor down here. So let's see what this looks like. 
And then I think I've got, oh, I've only have one wall on me. There we go. Now this is really coming together. I think it looks a lot better with all the wood flooring. It, it, it kind of blends in together, but we'll find a way to, to make this all really come together again at some point. Let me shut that off and let's go do a mission. All right, so we can either do a hunt or some mining. We can hunt some nearby creatures in the area to make it safe, or we can go and mine some ores. This one says it's hard, but I, I don't know. Like I said, the, the difficulty ratings on these missions seem to be all over the place. Let's go ahead and do the hard one. It'll give us a reason to get some extra ores. We are completely, pretty much completely empty with our iron. And so we're pretty desperate to get some more of that. I don't know if that's going to be what we need here. Oh, yes, uh, it is. <laughs> Mining iron ore, collect and deliver to the retrieval pod. Oh, okay. So, wait, we just need 51 iron ore? See, and this is supposed to be a hard mission. I don't understand what is difficult about that. Iron is by far the easiest ore to get, and we only need 51 of it. That's like maybe a node, a node and a half, something like that. I don't know. Let's, let's go get the ore, and then let's get this mission over with. All right, we've got our first node right here. Let's see how many we get from just this one. Okay, we got 34 from one node. Let's try to get this one. Oh, yep, we're gonna have some enemies to take care of. There we go, should be okay. Yep, a node and a half got us to 51 ores. This is so strange. Well, I'm going to keep mining this. I'm just going to try and get as much as I can while I'm here, and then we'll head back. All right, we have made it back. Let's go ahead and put in 51 on the dot, and then that should be good. <laughs> that is the easiest mission I have ever done. And for some reason, it was labeled as hard. Either way, let's go ahead and retrieve our reward. Okay, we can get some dried saltwater filet and fatty T-bones, some wooden trees. Oh, this is, this is horrible rewards. I mean, I guess I'll just claim the food. I don't really need any of the other stuff. All right, well, let's get back to the base then. Oh yeah, and one thing that I did forget to mention is I did upgrade the stairs and the platforms on a couple of these bridges to stone. That way it's just, they don't take nearly as much damage from storms and they just end up lasting a lot longer because it becomes a nuisance when I have to fix them up every once in a while. So just upgrading to stone really helps that out. And you know what? I kind of like that we threw in this divider wall when we walk into the front here because it, I don't know what, it just kind of makes it just look a little bit better, a little bit cleaner in this area. And we come in here and we've got our nice living room, which we're going to have to furnish a little bit more than this. But for now, I think it looks pretty good. All right. So I think the next step in order to really progress forward with our whole build, with our whole kind of experience here in Icarus is we seriously need some electricity. Now, in order to do that, we need something to produce electricity. Now, I don't think we have any proper, like, running water nearby, or, well, maybe we do. I guess we do have all these streams, but I don't know if we build a water wheel. I can't remember what it's exactly called um, that, that generates power. I don't know if that's, if the streams around here are going to be enough to generate any power. But I guess we could go ahead and try and craft one. It's just, it's really expensive. It takes 10 electronics. And I don't really wanna just go through a bunch of electronics. I guess we could do solar panel as well, but oh my goodness, that takes 30 electronics, but that provides 5,000 power versus the water wheels, 2,000. Either that, or we could just go straight to the biofuel generator, which is also gonna provide 5,000 power. You know what, I say we try the water wheel. Just for fun. I don't know. Again, I don't know if we're going to have the right amount of water or running water in order to, to power the thing. But I would love to try. There's streams all around us. But like I said, I just don't know if it's going to be enough to actually uh, move the wheel. I mean, it is running water. 
and it is pretty close to our base. I really wish our base was a little bit closer so we could have it right next to the, the water wheel, but let, let's just give it a shot. You know what? Let, screw it. We're, we're going to make a bunch of electronics. We're going to have to experiment. So let's just, let's just run with it. Okay, we can make up to 27 electronics right now. So I say we just craft as many as we can. And we already have three in our inventory, plus I think another two more. Is that right? Yeah, another two more. So we're going to have up to 30 electronics. So that's super good. All right, so I'm going to let these all craft up. But now the thing is, so we're currently on the machining bench, but we need the fabricator, which is going to take up all 30 of the electronics that we're about to craft. Or I guess uh, we're going to be crafting, I think, 32. And the fabricator is going to take 30. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're not as far as ahead as I, as I was thinking, but... It's a start. Now we need some carbon fiber, and I think in order to make that, we need some carbon paste, which requires a bunch more epoxy, aluminum ingot, and some silica, which I've got a few of those yet. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some cave runs. This is this is difficult. Okay, and we have enough to make eight on the dot, and then we're gonna have to throw this into the furnace in order to uh, turn it into carbon fiber. Alright, so it looks like we have leveled up to level 50. I was just kind of doing some regular work around the base here and uh, crafting some things was able to get us just over that 50 mark. But the thing is, is I think at level 50 we no longer earn any more talent points. I'm thinking we continue to earn tech tree points, but talent points I think stop, so we have to be pretty careful in uh, picking what we want here. I only have two points for the regular talents and one point for the solo. So at the very bottom of this tree for cooking and farming, there's an option for plus one space in the stomach, which would be super good for some either extra stamina or some health. And I really want that, but I don't know if I put points into gathering guru here, if it's going to unlock that food pyramid perk. I guess there's only one way to find out. No, it didn't. Oh, so I can't even unlock that. I'm guessing I have to unlock more in this tree in order to actually unlock the food pyramid perk. Well, I just say let's up our damage with our rifles here for that last point. And then solo, we've got one point to spend. I say we get an extra 20% stamina regen. And all right, there we go. We get the last pieces of concrete. Oh, let me turn the light on here or well concrete mix in order to make the machining bench. So let's craft this bad boy up. It's only going to take about seven, eight seconds here. All right. And oh, we need to find a spot to put this thing. Um, I guess we could probably put it by this railing right here. Does that seem like an okay spot? Let me close this door. How does this look? You know, that's not bad. Okay. So we're going to need even more concrete mix, more electronics, some steel ingot and some steel screws. We should have the ingot and the screws. Those should be okay. It's the electronics and concrete mix that's going to take a while. So what do we have here? Do we have some more epoxy? We've got 20. Let's throw some steel bloom in here to get some steel ingot crafting. Oh, we do have a ton of steel ingot, so we're okay there. And then how many electronics can we make? We can make another 10. Okay, so that's good. So let's get those crafted up there. And right now we can only make a max of five concrete mixes. And how many do we need? 20? Is that what it was? Oh, my goodness. Okay, what were we limited by here, though? Was it... Oh, it looks like it was silica. So, I need to go mine some silica here. Uh, it's pretty dark out. So, let's go turn on our little fireplace in here. And, uh, well, I said I was going to have a little fireplace by the end of tonight. But I lied. I'm going to bed on the floor again. I don't care. <laughs> I, I just I just want to get some rest for the night. All right. I'm going to go find some silica and uh, return and go make some more concrete. And then um, we'll get that water wheel crafted. Okay, 
so I feel a little bit goofy because the whole time I thought I was looking at what I needed for the water wheel, I was actually looking at the water pump. So I guess we have a water pump now and the water wheel itself is going to take a little bit of uh, different items, but I think we've got pretty much everything we need for that except for maybe the electronics. We have eight electronics. What do we need to make a couple more? We just need some epoxy. Oh boy. Yeah, and we're going to need to make some reinforced glass because these storms are going to get brutal and they're going to tear apart our greenhouse out there. So I'm crafting up some crushed bone right now and then we can make a bunch of epoxy from that. I'm doing it in both of the uh, mortar and pestles that I've got built here. So it should just be a couple minutes and we're going to have a ton more epoxy. All right, so I've got the water wheel. I've got the tools to make the electricity tool or the, the resources to make the tool. And so I think that's kind of all we need right now. I'm going to leave the water pump in there. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to use that water pump unless we have electricity. And I don't know, maybe we can use the electricity generated from our water wheel in order to power it. But I don't know. I don't know how it's all going to work. I'm just doing what I always do and I'm just winging it. So let's go down here. Oh, we got to take care of this big cat. Beautiful. Okay, and we're actually going to use our taxidermy tool in order to chop this guy up. Because we should get ahead from him now. Yes, we do. We've got the Jaguar head. And we're going to get away from that Komodo dragon. And we're going to see if we can put this dang water wheel in the water. Okay, must be placed in flowing water. So it's not recognizing this is flowing water just yet. What if we go down here a little ways? Let's get down closer. Oh. See, I'm seeing this water flow, but yeah, I don't think it's strong enough. Oh! <gasps> It is. Okay, hold on. Can I get any further? I don't, I don't know if it's just not enough room or it's just not recognizing it as flowing water until we get further upstream here. Let's put it right about here. How does that look? Ah, look, that looks fine. <laughs> um, okay, we can interact with it. There's slots for us to put things in, but I'm not sure what stuff goes in there. But it says the water wheel will slowly accumulate items that float into it. Oh. When 50 items are present, they will need to be cleaned out for the water wheel to continue operation. Oh, so it's kind of a maintenance thing. So we got to be able to clean this out once it starts getting a bunch of gunk in it. And then it'll start functioning again. Okay, well, that's really interesting. Um, let's grab this electricity tool. And you just click. Okay, so it looks like it attached to it. So we've got a wire coming out, but... It seems like it's pretty limited on its range and, and the actual directions. I don't know. This is... Oh, come on, buddy. Leave me alone. I'm not fighting you. You don't need to fight me. So let me do my thing over here. Okay, let's try and bring this out. I can't seem to get it to connect to anything. I don't know if I'm missing something with this or what. Maybe I need to have some kind of platform down. Oh, I need oxygen. Hold on. Let's go back to the base. We'll get some resources to maybe put a platform down. And then I believe we should be able to at least run it on the grass and dirt over here. But we'll find out in a second. All right. Let's refill our oxygen here. Oh, looks like I'm going to need some oxide in there. But we've got a few of the oxygen bladders that will last us for a little bit yet. Now, we still have a bunch of building materials in here. Let me just grab them. It's just wood. If this works, I'll have to upgrade it to stone at some point, but this is just going to do for now. We just need to be able to see if this is what the actual issue is. But first, it looks like we need to take care of this guy, and I did not get a good shot. Let's run this way. Come on. And there we go. Wait, can we get a bear head from this guy? Let's give it a shot here and see what we get. Oh, we do. I wonder if we can mount that in some way. But for now, I can't get too distracted. I, I got to figure out this water wheel issue. Okay, so I just have a ramp here. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to do anything, but let's give it another shot. Now I can't seem to get it. Maybe, maybe if I go to this side. Okay, wait. So I was able to kind of attach it to this rock face here. Now, how far can I go? Not very far. Okay, for some reason, I can now run it through water. So I, 
unnecessarily placed wiring all along this rock face and now I'm just crossing over the water anyway, but I don't care. We're, <laughs> we're running with it. Okay, so I've got the wire running all the way from over there. Underneath the bridge here, I ran it all along the bottom edge, and now I just have it connecting right up underneath here. So, well, I just realized, I don't think I have anything that really runs on electricity. Do, do the ice boxes, can I connect those? I don't think so. All right, how about this? I've got this water pump. Can we just put it, we can put it right down here. Okay, so it's just kind of sitting in the water right there. So let's bring our electricity tool back out and I think we can kind of remove these. Yep, okay, that's gone. And then we can connect from here and I'll just bring it, I'll try and cable manage a little bit here. And there we go, okay. So it says it provides a thousand water and it requires a thousand electricity. Well, right now we're not getting any electricity from our pump or from our wheel. So let's go over and check that out and see what's going on there. Okay, do we have to switch this thing on? Okay, no. Okay, so there's actually fish chunks and spoiled plants in there. So let's just throw those out. And it's saying it's sending power to network. Uh, did I miss something or is it just taking a second for it to kind of generate that electricity? It's still saying it's requiring a thousand electricity. Unless it is getting power, but I'm just, I don't have any hose connected to it that it's uh, pumping any water out. That might actually be the problem. Now, what does it take for the hose? So it takes some more copper wire, gold wire, and carbon fiber. We should have all of that. All right, there we go. All right, what does this look like? Okay, so that's connected. Oh boy, this, this wiring and this piping is not gonna look good. But I'm gonna try my best to kind of hide everything. Okay, I connected it to the, uh, the glass working bench. Now it says an active water connection will... Okay, yeah, but hold on. This should have power, and it should kick out water. Okay, well, I don't know what the deal was. I just moved the generator from over by that end of the bridge over to this one, and it seems to work. I don't know if the wiring was too long or what the deal was, but I'm going to see if I can actually finish this out now. Okay, so now that tubing should run up into the base here up to our glass working station. Is it working? No, no, it is not. I don't think. It says it requires... It's connected to water network, but insufficient water input. Okay, what, what is the deal? What is going on here? Is it because the pipe's too long? Okay, I have no clue what I did, but I got it working. I, I just took the pipes away, and then I put them back on, and it seems to be working now. And now it looks like the glass wall, everything. Oh my goodness, they're all reinforced. Well, I can't craft any of them right now. Um, and now the downside is, is I already crafted a bunch of glass roofs. But maybe if we just take all of the glass that we have, uh, what else do we need? Some iron ingot. And the rest of our epoxy. And let's see here. I'm just going to destroy the glass roofs that we have. And just make as many as we can, which is only six, because we need so much epoxy for this. Um, did we... How much do we have? Can we craft here? Um, none. We gotta make a ton more crushed bone quick. Alright, now I think I have all of the reinforced glass pieces that I need. Which includes... What? I had a big storage box right here and it somehow got destroyed. Maybe because I had the door open? With the storm going? I don't know. It's it's just a windstorm. I didn't think it would take out the whole storage box. Anyway, um, so it turns out 
the uh, plants do die eventually if you don't harvest them right away, which uh, means I might be in a little bit over my head with a massive garden here. But either way, let's start taking these down. And then we're going to put up some glass roofs. Oh, you know what? I just realized I'm going to be just short. But that's okay. So I'm just going to do a flat top like this. And they're not totally stable so we're gonna need a few more beams at some point but right now let's grab these angled pieces okay i think i completely overcomplicated it but we finally have a fully enclosed mostly reinforced glass greenhouse finally 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 eventually at some point we'll upgrade all of the walls along the edge here in order to reinforce those but at least the very top half is all reinforced, so it's going to withstand storms a lot better than it currently does. Yeah, as you can tell, this is already pretty broken from just that windstorm that passed through. So that's looking good. Okay, I'll have to take care of these plants here in a second. Uh, but what I want to do, actually, should close that up. I got to clean that up here in a minute. I'll get to that. I just have so much going on right now. Uh, but what I wanted to do was go and grab some of the Kamara and then some rhubarb. We're going to use that out here in the new greenhouse. So I guess we'll take out all of the bad plants here that all died. And take all the good ones that we've got. I think these are all strawberries, right? Yeah, we've got a ton of strawberries. Okay, now let's put one in here. So that's growing. We're going to do probably a bunch of rhubarb and a bunch of this kumara. I don't know what this kumara is. I guess it's a... Oh, it's a sweet potato. Typically with red skin and yellow or orange flesh. Okay, cool. Now I know. And then we'll put the rhubarb in the rest of these here. And then we'll finish by watering them all up. And then I'll probably have to refill this here in a second. Yeah, it looks like I gotta refill it quick. And then we should be good. Okay, so we still have a ways to go on the progress of the greenhouse, but it's looking pretty dang good so far. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I did add this uh, little dining table set here with a bunch of chairs. So I thought that was just kind of a nice little... I don't know, nice little room. I don't have any use for it right now. Eventually, we will be uh, creating something. We'll be expanding on the base, adding more rooms, and uh, just making this place more like home. But right now, I think it's looking pretty good. We've got our bedroom here still, and it's got kind of the more modern furniture. Like I said, I think eventually I'll make it more the um, rustic furniture instead. But there is this jaguar head. Let's put the rest of this stuff back in here. And then can we make anything with it? Oh, it's a cougar that we need. Oh, so I can't even use the jaguar head yet. I've got both a bear head and jaguar heads, and I can't use them for any kind of rugs. No. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I don't know where the cougar is. I guess it would probably be in the um, desert biome. But man, this place is really starting to become more of a home instead of a base. And I'm really digging it. I did forget to mention that at one point I did change these beams to the, the angled beams. And I think that looks pretty good. I did the same thing with the deck over here. And that looks pretty good. And I probably should upgrade the deck. It's just regular wood right now. I'm not loving the aesthetic of that. Well, from up here it looks pretty good. But I think I should upgrade it. I, the thing is... I think the interior wood would look awesome, like this flooring would look awesome out there. But I don't know how well it's going to withstand the weather. I guess there's really only one way to find out. Let's just go ahead and upgrade these. I gotta apparently repair it first quick, make sure it's all good. Alright, then we should be able to upgrade all of the flooring out here. And I'll probably remove all of these wooden beams that are going across it. I think they should be pretty structurally sound. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks a million times better. Let's get rid of these. Oh, here we go. Okay, and then 
do I keep these railings or do I upgrade those too? I say we upgrade them. And there we go. Oh, that looks so much cleaner. Now I almost kind of want to get rid of the wood beams going across it, or at least maybe upgrade them to the interior ones. Again, I don't know if this is a good idea. Having the interior wood stuff outside, I don't know how well it's going to fare against the weather. But again, there's only one way to find out. So let's uh, get on the outside here so we can get an angle on these. And there we go. All right, let's check it out. Oh, that looks really clean. Oh my goodness, this place is turning out to be pretty dang awesome. And now I kind of want to do it with this front porch here too. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to completely replace all of the railings out here as well as the floor. Okay, here we go. Oh, got to repair this. And there we go. Now let's put these railings on. I think it's going to look really good, honestly. And there we go. Oh, that looks so clean. I love the kind of... Oh. I love the uh, the stone aesthetics with... Oh my goodness, let me get out of this water. Alright, I love the stone aesthetics along with the clean interior wood. It goes together so well. And eventually I'll have to upgrade all these posts and things like that. Um, but we got a ton done. We have a finished... Well, mostly finished greenhouse. Uh, but it's, it's finished in terms of building, kind of. Because we still got to do the bottom floor. Uh, we got a bunch of plants going. We upgraded a ton inside the base here. We have water flowing all the way from the river out there into the base. And you know what? I wonder, can we connect another piece somewhere out here? Oh, we can. Because this cement mixer also runs on water. Well, it can run on water to speed things up. There we go. And then I think, can this masonry bench also increase? Yes, it can with water. Okay, so let's, I think, connect it. There we go. So we currently have three separate crafting benches able to run on water. This uses 250. This uses another 250 and another 250. So 750 total. And that water wheel should be producing about, was it 1,000 or 2,000? Something like that. So I think that's going to be more than enough. Not a huge fan of the bright blue, vibrant colored uh, tubing running through. But maybe I'll figure out a solution for that in the future. Uh, but yeah, I think it's all looking really, really good right now. But for now, I say we close up all of our blinds so we can have some privacy tonight. I'm going to rest here on my nice little new rustic chair. And uh, I'm going to just enjoy and relax for the rest of the night. But all right, I think I'm going to leave it here. I know it was kind of a chaotic episode. It, it was absolutely all over the place, but... I am really loving how this is all coming together. It's really starting to feel like a home. I know I keep saying that, but that's because we keep making progress on it every single day. And um, man, I'm loving it. I'm loving the grind that it takes and I'm loving how all the aesthetics really come together and just the, the glow of this fireplace right now, I think it just looks awesome. And I'm, I'm just having so much fun. So let me know what you thought. Throw a like on the video if you did like it. Subscribe if you do wanna see some more. Comment down below if you got any tips or tricks. I've been reading every single comment, and you guys are amazing. You show me so many new things. I learn so much with every single episode that I put out, and I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying. And um, if you made it this far, seriously, thank you. And um, if you want to help support as well, I, I know the YouTube algorithm does like when you watch another video after this. So if you guys want to do that, check out my channel. Or right at the end of this video, in a few seconds, you'll see another recommended video. Go ahead and click on that. And um, I really hope you guys enjoy. But I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to stop my rant. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Later.